Charles and White, come on, walk to this corner store with me, man. Let me give me a couple of cigars and let me tell you something. Man, you leave that young and white hell with alone, man. Now, I'm going to tell you, and I can't see into the future, but you know what? I've been around this world with this game and back. Yeah, I've been around this world back. You pushing some buttons you don't understand. See, for one thing, you don't understand the lifestyle where it's live where it come from. See, we, Lil Willie told because he really scared of being locked up, not out of fear, but that caged animal syndrome. And I know you've been boasted being a bona fide, glorified, braggadocious snitch yourself. I know you don't understand that. But I grew up around and with every type of monster that came up in the city, in the South. Every kind of monster, every kind of young monster that this world could produce. I've slept, slept next to in the floor. I've done time with. They've been my brothers, my cousins, my best friends. What is one of them types? And I've told y'all in earlier videos that I get Woody because I've known Lil Woody before. And he is, he is terrified of going to jail. This is without a doubt. But it's not like the type of fear that y'all thinking about. It's that caged animal syndrome. He cannot bear the thought of actually being locked up in a cage. And he is the one that would bite his own arm off in the trap to get free. You feel me now? Little Woody is the one that if he got his arm or foot stuck in the trap, he would gnaw his own limb off to get away. Charles and White, leave him alone. He's trying to make a change. He's worth making a change. He deserves a chance. Something he's never been given by his own words, by the uh, prosecuting attorney in the Young Thug trial, from the streets and everybody that has known Lil Woody can testify he ain't stood a chance. Now he got a chance. Right or wrong, he got the opportunity. Leave that youngin alone, man. Because you're saying all the wrong things. All the wrong things. And this ain't even... Saying something is, is minute is stop poking the bell doesn't even equate to the damage that you're doing. And I know that you think you only trying to do it for the clicks and the views. Charging white. Right after you gave that fake talk about it wasn't about the money. You really liked me. You met his people and you let him meet your people in the Woody Woo Woo. You turn right around. Right around, my bro. Right around. And see, it said you didn't want nothing from him, no, and didn't make nothing off him and didn't try and make nothing off him. Turn around the next day and drop a video saying totally the opposite. That Woody was dumb. And the first month you start playing like you was his friend, you made 75K off of him in one month. Come on, Charleston. Stop, bruh. There are 
points of no return. We have got to learn how to manage our mouths. It is not okay the crap that we are saying and the lies and all the self-destructive behavior we doing to ourselves and others for what? What are you doing it for Charleston? For them gold chains? Bro, you still old and you still ugly, just like me. The only difference between me and you is I have the love and the respect of my own children. As well as the youngins. And you can pull up in any area where I'm from and ask where I'm at. And they're going to smile and say, hey, man, you good? Because uh, that's OG. I ain't hard to find. It don't have to be this way. Oh, y'all, let me tell you something about it. And I ain't even mad at him. It's uh, Young Zeke TV. This cat didn't hit a hundred K off a video of mine. And boy, my son noticed it. He works for the, he, he works out of state. And he called and woke me up and asked me. I said, yeah, I know about the video. I said, it's all good. Well, did you know this? And I said, yeah, I know this and I know it. I said, we all try to eat our hand in these YouTube streets. Well, what if he go viral? I said, I'm pretty sure if that dude go viral off of something that I said, that he'll show OG some love. That's just how it's supposed to work out here. And I'm not going to be thinking any wise negative about anybody. I'm good. Thank you for the exposure. If you watch this video, Young Z, I appreciate it. Just next time, put my put put my channel in the description. That's all. Anyway, I'm just getting serious, real serious, and I can feel it, and I hate it so bad because Song would say, like he said, he think he won't. Woody to crash out, but why would you want that? You want Woody to go to prison? Why would you want that? Ain't you got kids, man? Y'all gotta remember, man, it's a kid, man. Man, if Charles and White ain't 50, he ought to be 50. Come on, man. And Charles and White doing all this for what? He ain't showed y'all no, no property. He ain't boasted of no annuities, um, no dirt. You know, he from place to place. I don't even, I, I don't know, and I don't like to make basic assumptions, but he just don't put me in the mind right now in his life that he's looking to invest any money in any, any properties or anything like that. You know, I think that he's so busy playing young that he think he's going to be healthy and fit like he is today for the next two, three, four, five years. And it was a time I thought I was going to maintain a certain amount of health fit too at my age. I thought I had about eight more years of physical work left in me. No more bridge building, no more paper getting. Anyway, y'all don't forget to hit that like button, respectfully comment and subscribe and if you don't hear what i say charles and white some of your supporters hear me when i say man leave a little wood alone man enough is enough bro it, you you don't went there and enough is enough i'm just saying